Hi everyone! In this video, we will review how to add meal periods to locations, to help your team better organize their day, to provide another way to report on revenue, and to help you fine-tune future events and cater better to your audience's preferences. Meal periods are simply a name for a length of time in which I would offer specified menus within my venue, such as brunch or happy hour. They can also be as simple as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Having meal periods set up within Triple Seat will help further organize events and provide for more reporting options. Users who also have Triple Seat Direct will be able to use meal periods to enhance the guest experience when booking with the Triple Seat Direct form. For more information on how meal periods work within Triple Seat Direct, please reach out to our support team. I'm going to create four of the more commonly used meal periods breakfast, brunch, lunch, and dinner. To set up meal periods, I will need to have the appropriate permissions on my settings page. I will go into the advanced location settings to edit and manage my meal periods. On the meal periods tab, I will have the default meal periods appear first in the location drop down menu. I am only able to edit these default meal periods for my group if I am a customer admin. Once default meal periods have been set up, they will apply to all of the locations within the group. The locations I have access to will also be selectable within this drop-down menu, and when I click on an individual location, an option to override group defaults will appear. If I check this off, I will now be able to edit, add, copy, or delete meal periods for this location, as well as copy these meal periods to another location, regardless if they are using default meal periods. Now that I have access to edit these meal periods, I am going to click Add to create a new meal period for Sunday. I will need to provide a start time and an end time for any meal period I create, as well as a label. I am going to create my breakfast meal period first, so I will put in my time frame and then type the label into the text box. Any label I type in will automatically save for future use, so when I go to add any additional meal periods, any previous labels created for my group's meal periods will be able to be selected from this new drop-down menu. I am also able to add meal periods that overlap each other as well, as some venues may offer different menus during similar time periods. My brunch menu starts at 11, so it is going to overlap with the existing breakfast meal period as well as the lunch meal period I will add after. I'm going to add this brunch meal period now and fill in the rest of the information. Once I have created these four meal periods, I can also copy them to other days. I will copy these from Sunday to the rest of my week and remove any ones I don't use on certain days or add additional ones such as a happy hour. If I am closed on a certain day, I can simply just leave that day blank. When I'm done, I just want to make sure I saved my changes before doing anything else, such as jumping over to another location. Once I have my meal periods saved, I will now want to make sure to add them to my events going forward. If I have Triple Seat Direct and I have correctly applied my meal periods to my menus and forms, these meal periods will automatically show up on Triple Seat Direct events. If I am converting a lead or manually creating an event, I will need to edit the event to add the meal periods. I can also edit existing events and add meal periods to them as well. Clicking into an event, I will see underneath the additional details that there is a section labeled Meal Periods. I can edit this event, and when I click on the field, all of the meal periods within my group will appear for me to choose from to add to the event. If my event contact decides they need to change the time of their event, I can always go back into it and change the meal period along with the time and any other details. If I need to make a note in any documents, I can also include my meal periods as a merge field as well for easier convenience. I am also able to report on my meal periods when I use the event details report. I can customize this report and add my meal periods as a column and can also group and sort by meal periods within my group to see things like revenue according to meal periods. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions about adding and managing meal periods, please reach out to our support team, support at tripleseat.com, or by clicking the help question button on the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.